Today we are breaking it down and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys seven super easy and simple healthy swaps that you can do in your home today. I know it can sound a little overwhelming when you're trying to live a more non-toxic lifestyle, a little bit more sustainable and greener, uh, but I really wanna help break it down and give you guys some realistic swaps that you can be doing right now. A lot of these products, I think actually all of them, I've been doing for years now and I truly think that these swaps work better than the conventional more toxic version. So without further ado, we're going to just get right into it and I'm going to share with you guys the seven products that you need to swap today. Welcome back to my channel, I'm Nicole, and today I'm gonna to be talking about seven super simple and easy healthy swaps that you can be doing in your home today. These are all things that I've been doing for the past few years and I truly love them and I feel like they actually work better than the conventional stuff. I'm so excited because Arm & Hammer is actually sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. I'm gonna talk about a few of their products that I really love and that I believe support a more healthy lifestyle. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video and I'm gonna share seven easy swaps that you can do like right now, right now after this video. Let's hop in. Swap number one is, you guessed it, conventional deodorant. I've talked about it so many times on my channel. I have a whole blog post about it. I truly believe that if you are still using deodorant with aluminum in it, what are you doing with your life? No, really, there are so many great options on the market. I actually have my own, not that I'm trying to plug it, but also, also it's like the best. Um, but there are so many options out there. Test them out, find one that works for you. It is such a sensitive area on your body that you don't wanna be clogging up with a bunch of toxic chemicals and aluminum. You want your body to breathe and detox and support that process. There is truly a healthy deodorant for everyone, whether you're looking for something that is a stick, a cream, whatever the scent you want, there is really no reason not to make the switch. I personally feel like it took me a little while while to finally make the switch because I get it nobody wants to stink it's like something everyone it's like bad breath everyone is so scared they're like no I'm just gonna stick with the the stuff that works and in turn you are just filling your body with unneeded toxic chemicals I'm gonna link my favorite down below but check out your local health food store check online there are so many options and so many scents now too like whatever scent you want i feel like you can find a more natural version of it and like i said they work you just have to go through a little bit of a transition phase give it some time and patience and i promise you once you make the swap you will never look back you'll be so happy you made it and i just like can't imagine going back to the other stuff like when i was little i remember i was used to sweat so much that i would use the clinical strength stuff and looking back, I'm just like, what did I do? Why, why did I put that on my body? So you don't need to do that. I think actually clogging your pores even more, just like you're drying out your skin will just create more sweat and oil and it's a vicious cycle. So get yourself a good healthy deodorant and thank me later. Swap number two while we're in the bathroom is toothpaste. So this is the Arm & Hammer Essentials Whiten and Activated Charcoal Fluoride Free Toothpaste. I've been loving this one. I got to try this at the beginning of the year and it is such a great option if you're looking for a more cleaner ingredient list toothpaste. Um, this one is their Whiten and Charcoal Activated Toothpaste. Like I said, it has no fluoride in it, which I always look for in my toothpaste and it is made with 100% natural baking soda. I mean, what can't baking soda do? I feel like it's such an amazing ingredient. You can bake with it, clean with it, brush your teeth with it. This one here is free from artificial sweeteners and dyes, preservatives, parabens, and SLS, which are all ingredients I usually try to avoid when I'm looking for products that I'm gonna be using on my skin or brushing my teeth with. 
It's just like the perfect flavored toothpaste. I really love it and I feel like it just really helps refresh in my mouth and my breath and helps my teeth stay pearly white. I love this one and I also love that it's super accessible. You can basically find it at your regular drugstore or I think it's even available in grocery stores and I just love it and you don't have to go searching around everywhere for a good toothpaste swap. So check them out. I know you guys will love this one. As I said, I've been using it basically for the entire year and it's been a go-to in my bathroom and for my teeth and oral hygiene love it swap number three is my probably my least favorite chore to do in the world ask mr. Matt he will agree laundry but one thing that's made it a little bit more enjoyable has been using dryer balls honestly I feel like I've been using wool dryer balls probably for I don't know like six years probably since I've been doing my own laundry. I don't know. But I just think that they are such a better, more sustainable, eco-friendly option. And the best part is you can scent them with whatever essential oils that you like. So I'll just put a few drops of either a citrus blend or a lavender essential oil and it smells so good. I especially love this for all my like wipes, like my towels and bed sheets. And if I'm doing um, just like my more delicate items, it just smells so good coming out of the dryer. There's no like toxic residue on my clothes. And like I said, it's good for the environment. It's good for me. And it kind of makes me enjoy laundry just a little bit more. Not really, but you know, it's, it's at least like, I know it's good for me. The next swap is something that I think is really important, especially right now while everyone is just being really diligent about cleaning their home and all their surfaces is having a good natural all purpose cleaner. So I actually just like to make my own at home. I have a, a more natural concentrate cleaner that I'll mix with water. I'll link that down below. I also will just use white vinegar and water to clean and add sometimes a few drops of lemon essential oil. Another great um, alternative is using baking soda. I'll mix it with the vinegar spray to really get in like the tiles, like in the grout in the bathroom or in the sink, like the faucets and stuff. It is such a good uh, abrasive cleaner that actually works and gets the grime out. I love it. I feel like it's safe for my hands, my skin. Um, I'm not um, spraying a bunch of chemicals in the air that's are A, just gonna give me a headache, B, not good for me to breathe in. Um, but there's just so many great natural cleaners that you can make in the comfort of your own home and not always having to you know, go to the really harsh, intense, toxic cleaners because that's just not stuff that you wanna be spreading all over your home, breathing in and being surrounded by in your everyday life. Next up, we have the makeup. So this has been one that's kind of been tricky for me over the years, finding stuff that is obviously cleaner, has a cleaner ingredient list, but is also good and it works because I don't know about you, but when I put mascara on, like I actually want my lashes to look fluttery and full and voluminous. I um, mean, a lot of natural mascaras just don't cut it. So I have spent a lot of money and time over the years trying to find products that work and it has been a bit of a challenge. I feel like the makeup category has been the hardest for me. Even though I don't wear a ton of makeup, I still feel like it's taken me a long time to make the switch. And I now feel like I have a good everyday makeup routine where I'm using cleaner products. I'm still using up like old stuff that I have. So you don't wanna just like throw out everything just because you're now using new products. Um, but really be mindful when you are buying new things and look at the ingredient list, think about that the fact that you're putting it on your skin, it's getting absorbed into your bloodstream and what that is doing to your health. And you know, if it's something that you're putting on your face every single day, like I personally love to do a little brow powder, mascara, a little CC cream. So those are things that I look to switch to a more natural cleaner option right off the bat because those are products that I'm using all the time. I feel like I finally found products that work for me. You know, being pregnant, I think it's even more important now than ever to make sure that what I'm putting on my body is safe for me, it's safe for the baby and um, that I feel good using it. So I will link some of my favorite products down below. I have a great natural mascara, uh, CC cream, uh, concealer, blush and bronzer that I've been using now, really loving. And I feel like I still get the same result that I used to get with the other stuff. Um, and I just feel good. I don't know, I feel better putting makeup on these days. And also I feel like my skin looks better. I can do like actually no makeup days and feel confident 
confident in my skin and it just goes a long way. So open your makeup bag, pick out three of your top go-to items and swap those out for cleaner options because those are the ones that you're probably gravitating towards the most and using the most on your body and your skin. Um, so I would look to swap out those first. Now the next swap is something I've been actually doing more recently with a lot of emphasis on washing the food that comes into your home from the grocery store and being pregnant. They always say that it's really important to wash your produce before you eat it. And I've always washed my produce, but a lot of times I've just like rinsed it under running water. Um, but now what I've been doing is pre washing all my fruits and veggies before I put them into the fridge. Now to do this, you can use, there's so many different more natural produce, produce washes that you can find on the market. You can also just use water vinegar, some essential oils if you like, and just scrub those clean, dry them, and then pop them into some storage containers and have them ready to go. Now I love this for two reasons. Number one is of course, my produce is gonna be nice and clean and free from bacteria when I'm gonna be ready to consume it. The other thing is that I actually find by pre-washing and prepping my vegetables, you guys know I love my meal prep, it actually makes me use up my vegetables more often. I think about them, they're ready to go in the fridge to add to whatever I'm cooking. If I have some grapes or berries, they're already washed and ready to snack on. I don't have to go that extra step and wash them when I'm actually craving it. Um, so I actually find it's been a lot healthier for me to just have these foods ready to go and snack on and add to my meals. This is something I never really used to do before, um, but it's a habit that I have now adopted and I really love it. I think it makes a big difference opening your fridge and knowing that everything in it is already washed and ready to eat. Another really easy swap that you can do in the kitchen is swapping your foil, parchment paper, and plastic wrap for silicone. So I actually love using silicone baking mats for my fish, my chicken, my chicken wings, those are so good, sweet potato fries. And the great thing is they're reusable, they're so easy to wash and clean. And even though I do still carry foil and parchment paper like once in a while in my kitchen for emergencies or if I'm just like cooking a lot of stuff, um, I will usually use my silicone baking mat and then also instead of the plastic wrap, um, because you know, you wanna be mindful, thin plastics will go into your foods and if you're heating things up or anything, um, you wanna make sure that you're using a, uh, a material that isn't going to leach into your food. So like glass and silicone are great options. I love to use reusable silicone storage bags. You can actually cook in them too. You can like steam your fish in them. Um, you can also just use glass containers to store your food. I think just being more mindful about what we are storing and cooking our foods in and what those materials do when they're heated, if they're leaching certain chemicals into our food. I personally just love using more sustainable options like glass and silicone. Um, and they're nice because you buy them once, you can reuse them and again and again and wash them. And so they're good on the wallet. They're good for your health and your home and the environment. There you have it, seven super easy and healthy swaps that you can be doing in your home right now. Leave me a comment down below which one you are most excited to try or if there's one that you swear by that I did not mention in today's video, I would love to know. Leave me a comment, let's chat, let's, let's swap swaps. <laughs> and also, if you guys wanna check out the Arm & Hammer Essentials Whiten and Activated Charcoal fluoride-free toothpaste. I will have a link down below for you guys to learn more. As I mentioned, I've been using this product all year and I've just been loving it. And if you're just looking for a better option for your toothpaste, this is a great one. Definitely check them out. I know you will love them. Also, um, if you guys are not subscribed, click the link down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. I post here every single week and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.